Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Catalina Francesca and this is Kaleidoscope Cat. Um, so today's video is about, or this video I guess, is about, is one of my weekly working deck videos um, where I share the decks that I've been working with uh, for the past week and give you a little preview of the decks that I'm going to be working with in the upcoming week. Uh, so let's just jump right in. Um, this past week I was working with um, the Empathic Oracle by Michelle Motuzas and Steve Wilson, um, and the um, Tarot of the Cloisters. I'm actually not sure who the artist is, uh, but this is from, the copyright is 1993, so this is from a while ago. Um, but this deck is just so beautiful. Um, I really love like the sort of old, old-fashioned stained glass, stained glass art style that we have here. Um, oops. So it is um, a round deck. So um, I do love this sex of vessel. So it did rename the. Uh, I did rename the suit of cups to vessels, um, but I think that the other, oh yeah, and wands is staves, but pentacles is just pentacles. Um, so I did, I did go through this deck um, and sort of put everything upright. Um, before this, before filming this video, um, I had I had a pretty depressiony week, so I did not work with this deck as much as I wanted to, um, which is a shame because it's a really beautiful deck, and I wish that I'd spent a little bit more time with it. Um, let me just show you. I just want to show you some of my favorite cards. Um, so. Um, the Three of Vessels is a definite favorite of mine. Um, I pretty much always, this is, I mean, this is very often one of my favorite cards in a deck. Come on, please focus. There we go. Um, because to me it represents myself, my sister, and my mom often, and this one is perfect because my mom is a redhead. I, as you can tell, I'm a brunette. And my sister used to have sort of dark blonde hair. Um, so this was kind of perfect. Uh, my mom, for some reason, kept thinking that my sister was a blonde, even though she has like light brown hair for, you know, a really long time. Okay. Um, I do also really love this world card. I think that this is just so beautiful. And this, similarly, I think that the Wheel of Fortune, whoops, uh, I think this Wheel of Fortune is really beautiful. And I think my favorite card, though, was this High Priestess, even though one of the pillars is yellow, which is really weird because it should be white. Um, but I just think that this High Priestess is so beautiful. So that is... Um, so the Tarot of the Cloisters um, was, is just a really beautiful deck. Um, it's been coming up on Amazon for like pretty decent prices. That's where I got it. Um, so then um, I have like several favorite cards to show you from the Empathic Oracle. I did not draw all of these this week. Um, uh, but I did draw this one, Desert, which is really beautiful. And it was on a day where I was feeling pretty, like, arid and dried out. <laughs> um, I did also draw this Root Chakra card, which I think is really beautiful. And this, again, so the Empathic Oracle has been super super um, accurate.
accurate, I guess, is the right word, in terms of, uh, in terms of, like, what, what, in terms of the draws that I've gotten, it's been super accurate in terms of, like, the energy of, of that day, which is really nice. Um, I also drew this light at the end of the tunnel card, which, again, really lovely. Um, but then some that I just love the artwork for are this past card. Winter. Direction. And Stardust. And I just think that those are so beautiful. Um, this deck... I got this deck at New Renaissance Bookshop in Portland, um, but um, I, I'm pretty sure it's available on Amazon. And if it is, I will leave you a link. Um, so then, so that is the decks that I worked with this past week. Um, oh, and um, I made this cute little bag for the Tarot of the Cloisters, which I think matches it. I think the sort of bubbles match the like look of it really nicely, which I think, so I think this is super cute. Um, the decks that I'm working with this upcoming week are the Spacious Tarot, which I backed on Kickstarter and it just came in. Um, uh, it came in over a week ago. It actually, so I was it probably came in a little bit sooner than that, but I was out of the country, um, for the holidays, um, and came back to, uh, so the day that all of the mail was delivered, um, there were, there were three decks for me, um, and the Terror of the Cloisters was the one that I was actually the most excited to work with, uh, so the Spacious Terror got pushed off by a week, um, but I'm very excited to work with this deck, um, one, like, kind of weird thing, I'm not even sure I want to say it, but this, it smells kind of like potato salad, which is really weird, and I'll be honest, slightly off-putting. Um, so I may see if I can do something to, like, change the way that this smells, because the smell is not really helping with, like, anything. <laughs> um, so anyways, <laughs> that tangent aside, um, I'm going to be working with the Spacious Tarot and the Animal Kin Oracle, which I've had for, this one I've had for a fair bit. Um, so I do believe that the Spacious Tarot is still um, doing like pre-orders or they may just be orders now um, on their website. Um, I will leave a link to that in the description and this one, I, yeah, I'm, I think I bought this one off Amazon. Uh, anyways, but what I am planning, what I'm planning to do starting this week is to share my, what I, the cards that I pulled for my weekly working deck spread. Um, so I don't have the spread like actually written down. I have it typed up on my phone. So that's why I'm looking at my phone. Um, so, um, I do a five card spread for the tarot deck and a two card spread for the Oracle deck. And, um, I am planning to type up a um, a blog post about that, and if I have done that by the time this video goes up, I will try to link that in the description box below. Um, so, card one is what can we accomplish together this week? For that, I got the Six of Swords. Which, to be honest, really confused me. I was just like, what does this mean? What does this mean? I'm, I'm confused. I'm still confused by this. Um, so, but I think that the Six of Swords, the six, I think that sort of speaks to, like, 
moving away from something, maybe moving away from like my first impressions of this deck, which are decidedly colored by the the interesting smell, um, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Um, so then card two is what can I do to make that happen? Um, and I got the moon. Come on, please focus. There we go. Um, the moon, which again, I'm not entirely certain what that means in this context. Um, it's a beautiful card. I'm just not sure what it means. Um, I got a lot of swords in this spread. Uh, so then the next card is how are you feeling this week? And for that, I got the two of swords. Um, so I think the spacious terror was feeling a little bit like indecisive and maybe confused this week. Um, or at least my copy of the spacious tarot is feeling a little bit indecisive this week, or at least that's how I interpreted that. Um, card four is how can we grow together this week and what will help our relationship grow and for that I got the nine of swords which I was like yikes um, and um, for this one I think it is maybe referring to um, I think it's maybe referring to um, working through any sort of like fear or anxiety that I'm having and coming out on the other side stronger. Uh, so that was sort of the, the vibe that I got off of this card. And then the fifth card is what can I expect from you this week? And I got the guardian of wands in this deck. The court cards have been renamed. So the guardians are the queens. <clears throat> Why is this not focusing? There we go. Guardian of Wands. Um, which to me speaks of sort of boldly going into the fire and coming out transformed on the other side. So kind of similar to the Nine of Swords. I'm getting sort of a similar vibe to that. Um, so hopefully by the end of the week, my, um, my relationship with this deck will be different than it is now. So then for the Oracle deck, what I do is how can I best work with you this week and what can I learn from you this week? So for how can I best work with you this week, I got Peahen Nurture. So really just using this deck to be gentle with myself and, um, and be kind to myself this week. So that's, that's my plan. And then I was shuffling, so I do like overhand shuffling, you know, like this kind of shuffling to get cards. Um, and I was shuffling for a dang long time to get this card. <laughs> and then I got trust. <laughs> I was just like, are you effing with me, spirit? I was just like, are you kidding? Is this like... So <laughs> it just made me laugh, basically. Um, so that is what I can learn. So this was the what can I learn from you this week and I got trust. So which is, it's beautiful. I'm really excited to work with this deck. Um, I, I really like this Animal Kin Oracle um, because the imagery is gorgeous and and the keywords are really nice. Um, the keywords are, are really, uh, are really good. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to work with, I'm excited to work with these decks this week. Um, and yeah, I will, so I will update you all next week on how these decks read for me. Um, and I'll see you then. Actually, probably you'll probably there will there will be videos sooner than that for Thirty One Days of Terror twenty twenty. 
but yeah, I just uh, wanted to get this video out and um, hopefully you've enjoyed seeing what I what I was working with this past week and what I'm going to be working with this upcoming week. Um, if you want to, please like and subscribe and maybe share if you're into that. I never share things because I'm not on much other social media than YouTube. So, um, but if you are and you are interested in sharing this, please do. Um, yeah. Okay. Have a lovely rest of your day. Um, and, um, happy tarot if you tarot.